Hey YouTube, welcome back to another great RC Worst video. Today we're going to just take a look at a little bit of footage that we were able to shoot. Uh, so I'll give you a little background here. Uh, one of our employees has a family member whose uh, septic tank and drain field recently failed. Uh, so this wasn't actually an official uh, RC Worst project, but uh, we had uh, one of the crew members out there helping out of course that was the family member and then we were able to go out and get some footage so I just wanted to show you guys some of this footage here and we can just talk a little bit about it so let's jump right into things so here we are we've got the septic tank here uh, you can see that this is a uh, let me grab a color for you this is a two compartment tank so We've got uh, lid one, lid two, and then uh, lid three here. Uh, so these two lids uh, are going to have risers on them for easy access. Those risers are going to be brought up to grade. You can see this is about the, the grade level here. Um, and it just makes for easy access. This middle uh, lid is for access to the barrier. There's a, a baffle in between here and uh, that allows the solids to come in from the house here into the tank they're going to hit a sanitary T inside the tank and then uh, the solids are going to settle out and then there's a baffle here that the affluent is able to pass over and then we've got a high head pump here that's going to push out to the drain field if you'll notice we've got a small uh, what looks to be inch and a quarter line on the discharge here so let's move on And uh, bonus if you were able to spot the chicken in that last second there. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the drain field. Um, well, just the transport line to the drain field, and we'll get to the drain field here shortly. So you can see we've got a trench run, and that's a black poly line running up the drain field here, or up to the drain field. And it actually has to make a pretty sharp switch back before we transition actually to the, uh, the distribution method, which is infiltrator uh, dome. So we'll see those in just a second here. So there's the connection to the house. That's pretty straightforward. You can see that there was a sanitary T there. Now, if you're not familiar with what a sanitary T is, let me just back this up here. All right, so there's the perfect spot. So uh, what happens here is you've got your waste comes from the house and um, essentially it's flowing in from the house and it hits this and that diffuses a lot of the velocity that that may be there may not this is a pretty short distance so the waste isn't probably coming in at very high speeds but uh, kind of slows that down and then forces it to drop down into the tank here um, and allows for better separation of the solids from the affluent so that's definitely critical so let's just move right along here. And if you noticed on that discharge, we had a true union ball valve. That just makes for easy sur and, uh, easier serviceability on the pump system. You can disconnect that quickly. Uh, walk in the trench now. Now, some of our viewers might be wondering, why is that so deep? Uh, and that's because up here in North Idaho, we've got uh, pretty cold weather. Uh, so you've got to bury stuff deep to keep it from freezing. So. All right, and here we are getting to the infiltrator domes. So we can see that the drain field goes out and then snakes back the other direction. Makes that nice corner up over here. Now in this particular installation, uh, we've utilized the uh, infiltrator uh, domes like I mentioned. And this actually happens to be the low profile infiltrator domes. The advantage to these low-profile ones is they are, I believe, four inches uh, shorter than the standard chambers. 
so you can actually get away with a, a slightly shallower trench as a result so that's quite nice uh, save some time on excavation and save some labor as well now you can see here that they didn't actually round the corner they uh, did a pass-through pipe so once the uh, waste gets to the end here it goes through this passport pipe uh, pass-through pipe and then is able to continue on from there to the other side of the drain field nice shot there of the whole field we've got a shot of the control panel that runs the pump just a simple on-demand system and now you can see that um, a little bit more excavation has been done the uh, the tank is completely buried all the way back to the drain field that went off that direction uh, is completely covered up here we've got the access risers visible um, looks like we're gonna need to put some grass in here soon now you can see the old pump just passed by the one that didn't make it we're getting another trip through where the drain field was installed almost like nothing ever happened and there goes the RC Worst truck down the road job well done <laughs> So it looks like they got this area buttoned up pretty nicely and it should be no time before the ground's back to back to normal. Now all in all this project took about uh, two days for the the people involved so it wasn't a terribly in involved process and uh, they were able to save quite a bit of money doing themselves um, again because this wasn't necessarily an RC worst installation but a lot of our equipment was used and uh, one of our service guys was out there doing the work got the Renko panel there and that brings us about to the end of the video. So thanks for joining us and I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.